Look around the room. If you cannot grow it, it will have to be mined. Your cell phone. It has more than 40 minerals in it. Glassware, silverware, high-tech equipment, your TV, your remote control, everything depends on mining. Batteries is another example. Rare earths play a big role in having um, large capacity, small size batteries. So rare earths will be the mineral of the future with respect, with respect to electricity storage. Our best uh, friend is Elon Musk, who actually said he needs nickel and lithium and a lot of other minerals for his batteries in his effort to you know, go 50% electrical by year 2030 or, or similar. Well, where is he going to find all these uh, minerals? We have to mine them. And in order to mine them safely, we need qualified mining engineers. Mining engineer at the University of Kentucky covers explosives, rare earths, mineral processing, large equipment, automation in surface and underground mines, mine design, computer applications in mining, uh, ventilation, mineral economics, equipment design and equipment operation, and we produce a very well-rounded engineer that can deal with everyday problems at any given mine. I think we run a private school within a big public university. We are a very closely knit community, and by community I mean the academic departments, the industry, and the faculty. We know all of our students by their first name, by the time they're in sophomore or junior year. Our companies know them by the first name because it's a small group of companies that hire from select departments. At the University of Kentucky, we have a very unique project on autonomous underground mining vehicles. We have designed and built an autonomous shuttle car which is used for haulage in underground coal mines. The goal of the Autonomous Shuttle Car Project is to remove the shuttle car operator from a physically tasking uh, job and actually uh, move him behind the lines so he can control the autonomous operation. This was a very challenging project in the sense that we're working in a GPS-denied environment. There's no GPS to guide us. Autonomous vehicles on the surface use GPS, mainly GPS for guidance. So we had to develop other technologies to be able to counteract that. Uh, also, we're working in, in some cases in a Wi-Fi restricted environment, so we have to do a lot of the processing on board the actual equipment. So we collect data from the sensors and we process the data on a laptop on top of the equipment and the equipment is on its way without actually talking to the outside world. The Department of Mining Engineering at UK has, a, uh, has access to an underground mine in uh, Georgetown, Kentucky, which is about 25 minutes away from campus. And we take our, our freshmen and sophomore students out to the mine uh, routinely to uh, watch explosions and uh, watch uh, underground operations uh, in, in real time. So our students can actually get real mine experience while they're, they're studying. There's always going to be a need for mining. And when we say mining, we do not mean coal mining, just coal mining. Mining covers a lot more minerals than coal. 